So welcome to my 18th C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to uh, teach you how to use multiple classes. Um, we've touched on classes before and I'm also going to cover a wee bit more about methods and stuff because I've had a few requests um, to elaborate on methods and parameters and arguments, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, just to let you know I'm um, updating iTunes at the same time here so if my C Sharp freezes for some unknown reason that's probably why anyway what you're going to need to do is you're going to go ahead and create a new console application I'm using a console application instead of a Windows form application because um, it's much easier to to show you what actually is happening because you, you don't have all these the code required to create forms and stuff getting in, getting in our way and distracting us so once you've created it I've just called mine class tutorial You'll notice, um, I've explained this before, but I'll go over it again. It creates automatically. Okay, you've got all your using statements. Again, um, don't worry about those at the minute. Then you have our namespace. Um, and inside our namespace, we have a class. Okay. And inside the class, we have methods. So that is the breakdown of a program, okay? C Sharp is an object oriented programming language, which means it's broken down into objects and well methods and classes and stuff like that there, but it just structures your program differently. In most basic programming languages, they are procedural. In other words, they will start at the top whenever it's running the code and go all the way down to the bottom. And uh, in object oriented program, it'll run a bit here, run a bit there, in an order that you've specified it can even jump to more than one code file okay which is what I'm going to explain today so first of all once you create your your project you'll automatically have a class called program created because that is the generic name given to a uh, class that C sharp is automatically created for you okay now we have one class this is our main well we're just gonna this is our main class just for, for this tutorial okay because it contains our, our main method this is the one we'll be f focusing on okay so like all your other programs this is where your program will start okay so to create another class we go to here this button here add new item and then we go to a class simple enough and give your class a name my second class dot cs now you'll notice it automatically generates uh, code for you in the class okay it, it provides you with all the using statements required it also creates a uh, <coughs> it also creates the namespace of class tutorial which you've already got as well in this other file but in this file the class name is different it's my second class rather than program and you'll notice it has no main method your program can only have that's okay, one main method, okay? Um, as it can only start in one place. You can't have uh, you can't have it starting in more than one place because it can really do one thing at a time. So, um, in this class, it has no methods. So we're going to give it one, and we're just going to create one that will print out writing to the console. Now, what I'm going to do here is, I'm not sure if I explained this already, but I'm going to show you constructors. Okay, a constructor is a method that's automatically called whenever you um, whenever you use another class. I can't think of the words off the top of my head. It's lit. <laughs> 20 past 12 at night. Um, okay, I'm not sure if I explained this before, I might have, but uh, you have to make it public and you name it my second class, okay? You name it the same name as your class, okay? And you'll notice you don't give it a return type, okay? That is the difference between a constructor and a method. So,
corny, I know. But, um, okay. So, actually, uh, I'll need to do that as well. Console.read key. Okay. <laughs> now, if we run this program, nothing will happen. It'll just open the console and close it again. Because, um, there you go, and close it again. Because we've called the main method and there's no code in it. So, we need to link the two of them. And it's called an object oriented language because we use objects. So, we need to create an object um, that links or that uses the my second class. So, to do this, we use my second class. So, in other words, this is the class name using okay and then we name it uh, whatever we want uh, other cl our constructor class constructor class okay and we set it equal to new my second class okay now what this does is it creates an instance of uh, my second class. Now, because we've got a constructor, it will automatically call the constructor once we type this code in. Okay, so if I run this, there we go, I'm a constructor. Now, you know constructors, you don't have to have a constructor. So let's make this a standard method. Okay, um, I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it print out. Okay, and then if we run this now, you will notice that nothing happens. Why? Because no methods are called from here. There is no constructor that's automatically called. You've just created an inst an instance of that class. So to call that method, we type constructor class and put a post up. And like our methods before in the last tutorials, we put a, f a period or first up and then the method name. Okay, and we run it. Now there we go. I'm a method. Simple. Now, <coughs> I have been asked again uh, to go over the uh, arguments and uh, our parameters, whatever you want to call them, just to explain them slightly better, okay? Now, um, I'm going to use this class as well, okay? So we're going to keep it over two classes because it's good practice. Okay. Arguments are things which you tell a method. Okay, they're that the, the uh, parameters are exactly the same as arguments. Okay, and they're just a, another name for it. So it's the information that you're going to tell your method that it needs. Okay. So for example, say this method is going to print out whatever I tell it to. Not I'm a method. Okay, but I don't know what what it's going to be told. So I would create a string called output and I'm going to type output here, okay? So for example, if you didn't know, you wanted to get a person's name, okay? And you got them to type it in into the console and then print out their name. You know, you can have six different people using it, and you can't write their name out each time because it's going to be different every time. So we use a variable. So this in here is an argument. Okay, you can have more than one argument. You do this by adding commas. And an argument is made up of a, a variable or a data type, and then a name. So our name. Okay, uh, I only need one argument in this method okay now this error will cause an error because it requires information to be passed in it okay so whenever you're calling a method inside the brackets you put 
the information that you're giving it and say the person using this is called Jimmy okay so there we go now your error is gone okay so what this is doing is this is passing information into your well we're first of all right okay we're calling our we're creating an instance of our class there's no constructor so it's not calling anything automatically then we are using this uh, constructor class and calling its method print out so we're calling this method here it's a way of pretty much of linking the two files together so once it calls this we are giving it the information Jimmy now you'll notice here we don't t tell it what we don't write string and then Jimmy because it knows what to expect you've already told it what it needs here so it knows what it needs here if you know what I mean um, so I can't write uh, I can't write one there because one is an integer and it knows it's expecting a string so and let's run this and see if it works and there we have Jimmy okay very simple that is all an argument is or a parameter whatever you want to call it it is pretty much just information you're giving a method to use okay there is nothing more complex about it that is that is it um again classes hang on let's just see my time 11:50 oops you went over but anyway classes are just a way of separating your code into more than one file and uh, that's really all there is to know I taught you about constructors I'm not sure I might have taught you them before but hey uh, just recapping and again methods and arguments as well very very simple and essential for and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please subscribe if you have any questions get in touch with me and uh, thanks for watching